Welcome back to the Lady Texter Show. I'm Nicholas Love alongside head coach Teresa Weatherspoon. And when you talk about the Lady Texters this season, one word comes to mind, and that's talent. A phenomenal amount of it. We can start with Whitney Jones. She transferred from the University of Baylor, uh, had some injury problems early mm -hmm. on. However, she's been one of the more prolific scorers with the Lady Texters since she's been here. Talk a little bit about Whitney and what exactly she brings to the table. She's special. She's very special, and, and when I first came back, Whitney was still, you know, nursing the injury to her leg, and she was actually playing on one leg, and was probably our best defender at that time. And now that she's healthy, her legs are very strong, we expect a lot out of Whitney. We expect her to score. We also expect her to defend the best offensive player every night, alongside Tarkeisha Weisinger Mackey. But when those things don't happen for Whitney, we're not a successful basketball team. But the ability that she has to score at will distance shooter. Her range is the moment she steps into the arena. But the most important thing about Whitney is mixing up her game, getting to the rim with such strength and ability. She jumps very well. But with Whitney playing that way for us, this team will be very successful. Um, she knows that. She accepts the challenge. She accepts that she's going to be one that we look to to make these things happen. So Whitney must do those things night in, night out in order for us to be successful. Let's talk a little bit about Tarkisha Weisinger Mackey. You mentioned her and her defensive prowess, which is no stranger to any Lady Texter fan. Talk a little bit about uh, Tarkeisha Weisinger Mackey, the new uh, last name, might I add. Absolutely. We, we better get that in there. You know, Mackey, <laughs> we better get that in there. But her motor is just wide open. You know, she just gives everything she has the entire time she's out here. And when she came and, and hurt her knee one year, she actually led us in scoring and rebounding and assist at that particular time of exhibitions two years ago. One knee goes out, she tries to come back a little bit too fast, boom, the other knee goes out. She stays out there constantly moving and, and, and trying to get us to be a better basketball team. Then her back goes out. You know, that's simply because of all the compensation. Boom, then her back goes out. But it's all about the wheel, mind over matter. And that's what Tarkeisha Weisinger Mackey is all about for us night in and night out. She gives that, she gives it in practice. She expects a lot from her teammates. It's not a verbal thing, but it's what she shows in her physical play every night. And without her defending the best every night, getting in there and rebounding with the best of them, she loves to bump and bang. She has an incredible mentality. Her approach to the game is what everybody should do uh, approaching the game. Like, I'm going to do what it takes to win. No matter what it is, that's what we should do. She brings such, such energy, such enthusiasm, such fire, such intensity, all those words in one that everybody wants to follow. Right, and you talk about uh, intensity and uh, the silent assassin, Brianna Thomas, is <laughs> a, essentially money from <laughs> anywhere on the floor. Talk a little bit about Brianna Thomas and her ability to knock down the outside shot. She sits and wait. She sits and waits, but such a quick release, a nice release. She gets up off the floor, beautiful release, and she believes it every time she shoots it. But the thing that has changed about Brietta is she's now becoming a physical basketball player, understanding uh, how to get open, uh, when to shoot the ball, how to read defense, and to get in there and be a rebounding guard. And with her doing those things for us, it makes us a better basketball team. It gives us more threats. She's an incredible force coming off the bench. The intensity never stops. You better guard her. If not, she's knocking it down. Now, I know the NCAA uh, stipulates that you can only have three coaches on the bench uh, uh, by yourself. Uh, well, alongside with you, excuse me, but you almost have another coach, and that's Martina Holloway, one of the brightest uh, minds with the Lady Texans. She Talk understands the game. Her. She understands the game very, very well, uh, speaks the game very well. What we want Martina to do is take that knowledge, put it between those four lines, and give us that, because she's very important to being able to come and spell a few minutes for, for Jasmine Bindoff. Martina is a guard that can bring such excitement. She can bring people out of the stands with her no-look passes, can shoot the ball very, very well. And like you said, her knowledge of the game. Her knowledge of the game, we want her to take that knowledge and put it between those four lines. Between the four lines, you have a leader. And you mentioned Jasmine Bindoff. Jasmine has essentially been money every time she touches the ball. She had the game-winning shot against Fresno State, has, has been you know, very quiet, but leads by example. Talk a little bit about Jasmine and her ability and, and her talents with the Lady Texters. I probably get a little emotional when I speak about her because she's a true inspiration to all of us with everything she's had to go through to just be able to play, to be able to put a uniform on, a practice gear, you know, just to be able to stand sometimes, you know. Uh, she
she's been a true inspiration, but a leader, incredible leader. She's now become a little more vocal, wanting people to understand her job, that she must get everybody to be in the right place and to send everybody to their strengths and never to their weaknesses. She's starting to understand that a little bit more and take on the responsibility of what leaders must do. Leaders are visionaries. That they understand everything. That fear, they don't understand. Failure, they don't understand. She's now got that. She now has it, and everybody understands she has it. And whatever call she makes, they trust it because she's earned that ability. Talk about Chantel Bramble Donaldson, Angie Felton, two JUCO transfers mm -hmm. have been extremely effective thus far this season. We can start with uh, Angie Felton initially. She is, oh my goodness, stretch the defense very well. She, she's a very comfortable basketball player. Uh, laid back, at ease, never rushed. Tremendous poise, wants the basket. She has ability to want it. I want it, and I'll take that shot. I'll take the last second shot if you ask. I'll defend the best if you ask. Whatever you ask of me, coach, I'll do it. Probably the most coachable player I've ever coached. Hmm. That's just a lot. What about Chantel? The New York kid. You know, she has that New York mentality, you know, that New York thing. Um, <laughs> she is definitely going to be exactly what happened for Adrian with Shanabia. Now she's going to definitely benefit from what happens with Adrian, the demands of a double team from Adrian. What we need of Chantel is to stay mentally strong because she has all the ability in the world. She can shoot it when she wants. She gets to the rim when she wants. She can defend when she wants. All of those things cannot be when she wants. It must be all the time. And when it comes out all the time, you will see the greatness in this kid. And it would be an awesome thing for us because I'm telling you, it will definitely make us an even better basketball team simply because of the athleticism in Adrian and, Sh and Chantel.